Today we are going to be doing a CTF challenge. We are going to be doing the basic pen testing challenge from Try Hack Me. In this video, you will learn brute forcing, hash cracking, service enumeration, and Linux enumeration. So let's get started. So I'm in my Kali Linux right now. I'm connected to the Try Hack Me network with my VPN, and I have started the virtual machine, and we got our target IP address. So the answer to the first question is completed. We deployed our machine and connected to the network. Next, we need to find the services exposed by the machine. So I'll open my terminal. And to find the services, we are going to be scanning the network with Nmap. I will be doing a stealthy scan. And I want the scan to be aggressive. The timing I want it to be the fastest. I will paste the IP. And save the result in a file called output.txt. I can see the scanning has been completed. If I cut out the contents of output.txt, I can see all the services that are running on the port. I can see port 22 is open which is SSH. I can see HTTP is open, SMB Samba is open, and two other ports are open. Since HTTP is open, I'll open my browser and go to the IP. Okay, so we do not get much information. If I check the page source, I can see an internal comment which says to check the dev notes section if you need to know what to work on. Since I'm not getting any information from this website, I will do a directory busting with GoBuster. So I'll copy the link, go back to my terminal, and use GoBuster with the command sudo gobuster. Since I want to find directories, I will type dir space dash u for URL, paste the URL we copied earlier, and specify our word list. I can see I get one directory development. So I'll copy the name of the directory, add it to my URL. And I get two text files. If I check dev.txt, where I get to see conversation between two users, K and J. K is telling J that he has been messing with his truth stuff and he wants to host it on the server. And he is using something with version 2.5.12. And he has also configured the SMB. And J is telling K that he has set up the Apache web server. So we will keep this information in the back of our mind. We can check SMB later. If I check the file j.txt, I can see K is telling J that he has been checking the etc shadow file which contains the password hashes and he is also telling J to update the password. So we can guess that we can use a brute force attack on password of J. I will check the question second to know what should we do next. So the second question, find the services exposed by the machine. We have completed that with our nmap scan. What is the name of the hidden directory? We know that it is development. Question 4. We need to brute force the username and password, but I do not know the username yet. I just know that it is J and K. So to find the username, I can enumerate SMB. The tool to enumerate SMB is called enum for Linux. If I check the help menu first, I can see I can enumerate usernames, I can enumerate share list and many other options. So first let me enumerate the share list, then I will enumerate the user list. So I'll type the command enum for Linux space dash capital S and my target IP. I can see I get two shares, Anonymous and IPC. First let me connect to Anonymous. So I will use SMB client to connect. It is asking the password of my Kali user. No password is needed for Anonymous and I can confirm I connected successfully. If I give a ls, there is a file called stuff.txt. If I download the file in my machine and cat out stuff.txt, I can confirm the username that starts with J is Jan and the username that starts with K is K. Since we already know the usernames, we do not need to enumerate the usernames anymore. I will just connect to the other share and see if there is anything interesting. After connecting, if I give ls, I can see I do not find anything interesting. Let me check the questions again. So we need to brute force the usernames and passwords. We already know that the usernames are Jan and K. And the next question is what is the username? If I type Jan, so the answer is correct. We need to brute force the password of Jan and we will brute force the password of Jan first because we already know that the password of Jan is weak. So let's use Hydra. I'll type the command Hydra space dash lowercase l Jan and dash capital P and specify the password list. I will use rockyou.txt. We are brute forcing SSH service. Now we are trying the combination of Jan with all the passwords in rockyou.txt. Let's see if we can find the password. While well, the brute force is going on, I just want to quickly mention, if you want to get comfortable with the terminal commands of Kali Linux, then click the first link in the description box and you will get the full Kali Linux cheat sheet for completely free. This cheat sheet includes all the essential commands for your day-to-day -day task. So if you get stuck, 
you do not have to google every time so click on the first link in the description box to get this cheat sheet i can confirm our brute force attack has been successful the ssh password for jen is armando so if i try to ssh as jen and for the password type armando i can see i can ssh successfully and i'm logged in as the user jen i can see the home directory of k2 if i change to the directory i can see the password file for k if i cut out the content of the password file i do not have enough permission let me check the permission of the file so only k is allowed to read and write this file let me check the question second to see what should we do next user brute forcing to find the username and password this has been completed what is the password armando what service do you use to access the server ssh enumerate the machine to find any vectors for privilege escalation so we need to log in as k or the root the next question is what is the name of the other user you found it is k so we now have to log in as k let's check the etc shadow file to see the password hash so for the shadow file too we do not have enough permission let's check if we can use the sudo command okay so we cannot use the sudo command too since we're in the home directory of k i can see the dot ssh directory if i change to the directory i can confirm there is the private key and the public key if i cut out the content of the private key i can confirm i get the private key so i'll copy the private key open another tab and save the private key in a file called id paste the private key ctrl plus o and enter to save the file and ctrl plus x to quit the file now i can confirm the private key has been saved in my id file now let's use ssh to john to convert this private key into a hash so i'll type the command ssh to john the name of the file which is id and i will save the hash in a file called hash.txt if i cut out the content of hash.txt i can confirm my ssh has been converted to a hash now let's crack this hash with john so i'll type the command john the name of my hash file which is hash.txt and i'll specify the word list rocky.txt and i can see the hash has been cracked and this is my password now i can ssh sk using the private key so first i'll give necessary permission to the private key and now ssh using this private key when ask for a passphrase i know the passphrase is beeswax and i can see i'm logged in successfully as k if i cut out the content of my password file i get the password of k which is also the answer to the last question so this is how to solve the basic pen testing challenge that is for the end of the video if you like this video and want to watch more content related to kali linux or ethical hacking please subscribe to the channel Thank you so much for watching.